Everyone's focusing on the president, the president, the president. But when it comes to state legislatures, they handle more things that impact us every single day. There was a report that came out two years ago in 2018 that said the worst traffic in America is between Washington, D.C. and Fredericksburg. That's our district. And a year later, in March of this year, another report came out that said the most expensive commute in America is between Washington, D.C. and Fredericksburg. And again, that's our district. So that means we have worse traffic, and our traffic is more expensive than L.A.'s. A lot of things that affect us right at home are done by the state legislature, Virginia General Assembly, and many people miss out because they only vote during the primaries for presidentials or during the midterm elections. And Virginia continuously has off-year elections for our general legislature. Um, so I think people, it's time for us to wake up. If we're worried about who maintains these streets that we drive on every day, it, it's handled by the Virginia General Assembly. I get off at one o'clock to go to lunch, and you would think just getting on the highway would be nothing. But now, one o'clock, even as early as 10 a.m. in the morning, you see traffic like this as soon as you get off. We're looking at all this traffic that we've had. Um, our opponent spent 12 years on the Board of Supervisors, and he brags about being three-time chair of the FAMPO, which is the Fredericksburg Area Metropolitan Planning Organization. Um, and with 12 years, traffic has not gotten any better. It's only gotten worse. Two years later is really different. Um, our campaign is fully staffed up. Two years ago, it was basically just myself and our campaign manager. Um, this year, we have well over six employees. Um, we have knocked the district over uh, two times, well into three times over now. Um, money is coming in and people are paying attention. Um, we tried to tell them, you know, two years ago we could flip this district. And they're like, oh, that's cute. You think you can flip the speaker seat? And uh, when we just fell 73 votes shy, they were like, oh man, we wish we had given him more attention. We wish we had focused more attention on the 28th district. And so now they're doing that. This is an extremely historical district. I grew up here. Um, my mom's family is from here. My dad's family is from here. And um, I serve as assistant pastor of Union Bell Baptist Church in South Stafford, which is actually named after my great-great-grandmother, Belle Carter. So, we have rich history here. Um, this is also the birthplace of George Washington. Uh, his mother, Mary Washington, um, has roots here. Uh, so this is a great historical district. The Battle of Fredericksburg, Civil War, Revolutionary War. We have so much history um, right here in this nine mile stretch of the 28th district. If we look at all of the traffic that runs down 95, the Republican held General Assembly was that. And until we replace them with better drivers, with a better body that's going to help pass the legislation, we will continue to be gridlocked and a lot of good legislation will be continue to be killed in committee.